Hello. I've never played this game before. Crusader King 3, a grand strategy game with a bit of a familiar twist. The twist being that your wife is actually your sister and your aunt. And while some might see the game as a dynastic empire building simulator, I see it differently. This game is a relationship builder. Now, in all fairness, a lot of those relationships do tend to be a little bit questionable at best, but still the stories you make in C K3 are some of the best you can ever make in any sort of life simulator game. Which is why today we're going to tell the story of the weakest possible man rising to become the chattiest of chats. Uh, first off though, this doesn't look like the weakest type of man. I'm like a turtle when someone makes fun of my non-existent chin. I retract it! <laughs> That's right, girl! I am a strategy game player. How could you tell? You know, from the front on angle, he looks kind of happy, but from the side, he looks absolutely mortified. <laughs> Never let them know your next move. Okay, we've got the luck, and now we need the skills. And by skills, I mean... We have no skills. Now, you can't keep him at completely zero stance, because we do need him to live a very long life, which means deep down... Really, deep down, apparently he has a bit of prowess. Somewhere in there. Alright, I don't know what the most loser name in the world. I'm either gonna go with Gary. Gary's not a very good name. Sorry to all the Garys out there. Or Kevin. But Kevin's not bad on its own. But if you shorten it to Kev, yeah, it's kind of bad. <laughs> Duke Kev. <laughs> okay, so we start off with absolutely zero stats except for our prowess, and prowess goes down with age. So we are quite literally in a ticking time bomb of a life to make this guy worthwhile. Um, he does technically have two martial as well from being a misguided warrior. I could get rid of that and put on something else, but anything I click here is going to give me plus two in something. <laughs> Finalize your creative character and <laughs> submit. You cannot undo this change. Are you sure? You are ready to <laughs> Yes, Big Kev is ready! <laughs> okay, I forgot I made him really short, dude. <laughs> okay, welcome to 1066, a fun place filled with pain, misery, and sometimes the plague. So as Kev, we want to go ahead and immediately get some martial going because we need to win tournaments. That is how we are going to make Duke Kev from this into hopefully something less looking like this. And we are immediately going to go over into the gallant side of the military and get ourselves stalwart leader, which will give us four more prowess to deal with. All right, now, because we are a absolute loser, we need to find someone who's willing to love me out there in the world. And I think if anyone was going to love me, it probably would be someone called Pribslava. And then we immediately want to go to the emperor of the HRE, who we are under, and walk in and confidently tell him that we deserve to be on the council and then give him all our levies. How exactly he did not laugh me out of the building when I walked in, I'm not too sure, but maybe he should have. But the good news is, with council rights, we can now declare ourselves to be the most important steward in the realm, which will give us more money. We could go for Marshall and get even more prowess and start stacking up, but I'm gonna go for the money for now, as I'm gonna need it to host a tournament. There we go, so combined with our wonderful wife, who's now giving us 11 stewardship and the fact we are on the council we're making money we're a big money spender look at us we are swagalicious and i think of gangster this is the man i think about look at those beautiful eyebrows well not only did he give me a seat on the council he's also giving me more vassals as they are technically within my realm which is good because i'm also going to aim for making myself the kingdom of lotharingia at some point. Okay, my bishop has turned up and said that my wife is actually my relative, which means if I don't divorce her, he's going to be very upset. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear a word he said. So I went ahead and usurped the Duchy of Luxembourg, which means now I think we can, yep, we can create a kingdom. All we need is a bit more money. And by a bit more, I mean a lot more money. Yes, finally, some good news. I have had a daughter and Carlotte is good name. But how about Kevlot instead? Ooh, now it's time for us to go to our first tournament. One that our gracious emperor is actually setting up. And I'm going to go there and embarrass him uh, or myself. 
could be either or. So already down to our prowess, we have a good chance of actually doing a bit of things here and succeeding, but not the greatest. That's why we need to go around and do a few activities to get it up. Yep. First event, it's wrestling, and don't I look menacing. Oh, and whilst I'm mid-wrestle, uh, somebody's trying to murder me at the court. Right, we won our first fight, and don't we look happy about it? Uh, although our opponent was a 52-year-old Frenchman. So <laughs> uh, during the wrestled Berthold over here, who does look like a absolute Chad, I might add, um, just dislocated my finger, so I have a 20% chance to pop it back in, or fail completely. Uh, failed completely, by the way. Uh, I don't think there was uh, really any way we were going to beat this absolute... A <laughs> colossal human being. Okay, now we're in the duel contest, and we are in the final. If I could not beat this 62-year-old man, there is no hope in this world. That's right. If you cannot win fairly, you must aim for the peaches. Oh, congrats, well done. We won. We successfully beat an old man. <laughs> there we go. The first of many successes, I hope. But after that, this does mean we will get a prize, which will help us in the future. There we go. Our wonderful Kaiser. <laughs> 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 I look like it's like man servant. Hey, but he has given me some prize armor, which gives us a never seven prowess, which we are going to use for more tournament victories. We also got ourselves a little bit of prestige and money, which we do need to get our kingdom title. Ooh, already up to 30 prowess, other than my uh, the dislocated finger. That's still around, apparently. I finally have a son, and he's not very good we're gonna call him sadness i don't think i'm too good genetic wise as all of my sons uh <laughs> they're not very healthy oh i called him slightly less sadness because i thought he would survive he's dead oh now that is a son worthy of my type he even inherited my herculean trait which is very nice yeah if we'll call him kev 2 <laughs> and we finally have enough money to make our kingdom title there you go so now we have a throne room which will come even more in handy for the prizes we will win in tournaments but i don't think this is gonna cut it we're gonna have to do a bit of rework in here there we go now that is a much better banner to display <laughs> <laughs> what does he do like the soy mouth? <laughs> my wife has died, um, and also all of my children keep dying, actually. It's not going too well. Oh, uh, time to get a new one. Oh, there goes another child. Uh, it's really not going too well for Kev. You know what? All of your children might be dying, but why not cheer yourself up with a bit of a wrestle with the boys? That's right, we're going for another tournament, Kev. Kev? Kev? There are vacancies behind those eyes. It's uh, safe to say Kev's looking a bit worse for wear. I think age is already catching up to him, and he's only 36. During our last opponent was a 62-year-old man. Surely you got this one in the bag, right, Kev? Well, <laughs> once again, I've gone for a low blow. <laughs> I've gotten the nickname The Dirty, but Bruno is walking funny. <laughs> uh, Kevin will do anything to win. Okay, we've made it to the final, and we are up against this shirtless man who looks like he may actually be a bit of <laughs> a bit of a match for me oh great i've dislocated another finger will it pop back in this time it did not oh okay we won even though uh once again one of my fingers just popped out i guess those things are in there pretty loose huh ah, okay so my winnings this time weren't exactly great i've been given a bowl yeah i have the the prized Kevin Ball. <laughs> it's not even a ball. Ah, so there was another tournament already, and it's actually being hosted by the Pope of all people. I guess he's bringing back that whole Roman Colosseum business. Uh, also, maybe I should go there and impress him because he hates me a little bit because uh, Kev might be a bit of a ladies' man. So the Pope hates me. I've gone to the Pope's house, and I'm buying a fake papal tiara. It's safe to say... 
The Pope might hate me more. Oh, because I have the strong tray, I can go ahead and <laughs> just flex for the crowd. Well, I won another duel, which means I now get prize armor. I already have prize armor. I don't need more of it. <laughs> but oh, it looks like one of us is going to have to go home and change. <laughs> All of our tournamenting has paid off. We are up to 54 prowess, which is actually insane. Yeah, I mean, we are one scary individual, if you can't tell by looking at me. You know, on top of that, we've actually managed to get some skills, which, again, is... Uh, very surprising considering these all started at zero. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something wrong with me. That is a second wife that has died trying to give birth to my children. Look, I've lost three of them. Hey, Kev, I need to know what you're up to in the bedroom because it's clearly nothing good. Right, we do need to go ahead and do our own wrestling tournament because unfortunately I'm getting old and as get old, prowess go down. And you know, prowess is uh, technically all I have. Uh, without my big strong muscles, I am worthless. Um, and also, I've got a new wife, and she is safely tucked away on this island over here, so I never have to worry about her dying. So, welcome to Kev's Big Grand Tournament, and it's very important that I actually win this one, or else I'm gonna look like a fool. <laughs> nice, we easily won the duel contest, but can we now win the wrestling and get myself two prizes in a tournament? Yeah, I'm gonna say everyone I come up against in these wrestling tournaments look, uh a lot more intimidating than I do. Uh, well, you know, I was gonna ask how I keep winning, but I did just throw dirt in his face. Are you not entertained? Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't be, uh, celebrating, because I think Sadness just died at the taunt. Yeah, he just, he, he was murdered. <laughs> In all fairness, out of all my children that have died, this one I'm not that upset about. Uh, there you go, there's, there's four gone. Uh, at least we have this guy now, who is actually somewhat decent of an heir. And, uh, let me guess, more prize, yep, more prize armor. Uh, you know, you can get better stuff, but I just... <laughs> You seem to be getting the same stuff over and over again. Hey, at least this time we won two events, which means I get the prize necklace as well that gives me prestige and a fertility bonus, which I need because all my kids keep dying. So I need more. There's a crusade going on, and I'm sort of uh, sneakily trying to just get the, the victory here <laughs> while everyone else fights around me. Uh-oh, they found me. Crusade did actually... How? We won, and I got a lot of money from that. <laughs> Ooh, don't mind if I do. 654 coins. Yeah, it's good, actually. It means I can finally pay the Pope for <laughs> to stop hating me. But yeah, it's not looking too good for King Kev the Dirty. The prowess is really coming down with old age now, so I think we need to do one last grand tournament to really solidify that we weren't that bad of a human being. have sunk all of our money into this tournament, and if I don't get myself a better prize and more armor, I'm sending Kev to the farm where old useless rulers go. Oh, unsurprisingly, with the uh, insane amount of prowess I got, that somehow actually went up. Um, and I'm hungover as well. <laughs> Wait, we actually won, and that's probably the last tournament we're ever gonna win. And I, I got another bowl. Wonderful! I did actually also get a prize brooch, which is very, very good. Very good. Can't forget to put my, my other bowl out, you know? Just in case people don't know that I've got a lot of bowls. We have been worldly successful in making our character less of a chump and more of a absolute chad. Now the problem is though, there's no way up. Well, there is a way up. I just need to get rid of the Emperor, because someone else might just become Emperor if he wasn't around. A 95% chance of this working. Will we get him? And oh, isn't it beautiful? Look at my brand new empire! Uh, quite literally, from nothing to something. And I gotta say, it was one hell of a, well, just wrestling sweaty men journey. That's kind of what we did to get here. Now, again, we are once uh, still pretty useless. We have gone a few skills. Uh, we could get a few more if we actually had a wife in our realm and get her to set on to uh, buffing us up. But the prowess was the main thing I wanted to do. And even though we are a old man... Uh, we are still apparently very deadly. There you go. That was the story of Kev. Kev the Dirty. The absolute Chad. Kind of. It was fun. And if you want to see more fun stuff on this channel, uh, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button down below. But from me and Kev, 
Remember to eat your beans. Because look how strong they make you. It was definitely the beans. <laughs>